Okay, so let's say you are in the studio and you're going to do some tethered shooting. That means you just have a computer and you are going to tether it to your camera. And that means you need a tethering cable to connect the two. Well, once you get a cable, you're gonna find out that the reason they make these orange is because you want them high visibility because people are gonna trip on them. Well, if they trip on them, they might yank out everything or it just might be a loose connection like this on my T750 is a little bit shaky. Um, it's not really a super strong secure connection. Well, they sell devices out there like Tether Tools has the jerk stopper and they have the jerk stopper on a clamp and the jerk stopper on the table and they a variety of options and the L plates and they have a groove in there and you tighten it down so it goes on the tripod so that it'll yank, it won't yank the, the camera and such. Um, I don't think you need any of that and I've always used this tip so I wanted to share that with you and it's just a simple ultra cheap DIY tip that will uh, connect your tethering cable to your camera and keep it secure. So uh, here we go. Hey everyone, it's Mike here with Mike McGee Photography. Okay, the debate rages on. Now I don't wanna start like a debate war because I know there's some people out there who think those jerk stoppers are ridiculous, that they would rather just have a cable, if somebody trips on it, yank out so that hopefully it would just rip out nicely and um, it wouldn't damage your camera or have the whole thing topple down and destroy a you know two thousand dollar lens and a two thousand dollar camera body or what have you right so some people would rather have just the cable yank out and be gone if somebody trips on it i get it i get it now for my particular needs it isn't really so much about someone tripping on it as it is just i have a pretty terrible connection here this the nikon d750 for this particular setup uses a really small connector it is tiny and it doesn't really lock in place so there are many times where i was shooting before and it would just have sort of a wobbly connection it could it could even bend and it just wasn't secure so i wanted something that would attach onto the camera like so and then it would just put less pressure right on the hinge or the, the sort of the insert point of where this, this cable plugs in and then it, you wouldn't lose connection. So it would have dual purpose. Now, if somebody trips on it, could everything go topple over? Yeah, it could. So uh, sandbag your tripods and hopefully that's not gonna happen. But um, anyway, I thought it would be best instead of just you know talking about it where you can't really see it, I thought it'd be better to change views, go up close and personal on exactly how I implemented this super cheap DIY tip for making your own jerk stopper at home. So let's take a look. All right, so this is the easiest DIY ever. You're just going to need two things. One is going to be a zip tie. Now this is a clear zip tie. Hopefully you can see the loop on camera, even though it's on a white background. And you're gonna need a key ring. Now the key ring is kind of particular in that you want one with a locking clasp. See how this on the left hand side right there has a lever that allows you to open and close it. I'm gonna see if I can, hopefully I won't. Uh, hopefully you can see this on camera. I'm gonna go like this and we're going to open and close that clasp. So if I go like that, that's, you want a key ring like that so that you can easily attach and detach that from the camera. Now, um, I actually got this free from Comcast. It was uh, attached to some lanyard that I got somewhere. So check your junk drawer. You know that drawer in your kitchen that has all these spare keys and just junk and business cards in there? Check your junk drawer and see if you have some sort of lanyard that you might have gotten at a photo expo or something like that. Uh, you probably already have one of these for free. Now, if you don't, uh, there's a couple of options. Um, you can go on Amazon and order them. The problem is they're so inexpensive that they only sell them in bulk. So I'll put a link to the description for this one, but it's literally $7 for a pack of 100. Uh, don't think you're gonna need that. <laughs> Unless you wanna give out 99 of them on Halloween to kids, I doubt you're gonna need that. So a better option might just be your local hardware store. Usually at the hardware stores that I go to, if right before checkout they have gum, they have those impulse items, they usually have key rings similar to this and they sell them for like a quarter, or a dime or whatever it is. I would check your local hardware store for something like this if you can't find one already. But I happen to have this one. I had the zip tie as well. So this is a free DIY tip that uh, works for me. So I'm going to show you how to attach these two items to the tethering cable and then we're going to attach that to the camera. 
Okay, so now I have all four pieces of the puzzle, so to speak. Here are the two DIY items that we're gonna use for this. You have your camera, in this case it's a Nikon D750, and then we have a tethering cable. Now this is one of the expensive tether tool brand orange cables that you probably have. They're good, they're reliable. Are they expensive? Absolutely. I don't know why another company doesn't make an orange one. Maybe Tether Tools has patented it. I get it. Uh, or maybe even a yellow USB cable, whatever. Um, I'm sure you can get one on mono price, whatever. But for the time being, I have a Tether Tools brand cable here, and we're going to go ahead and assemble the solution. Now, one other little tip is I always just put a dot here just so you always know the orientation because if you can see the end of that connector right there, that is a tiny little connector that's very easy to flip upside down or right side up. So I always put a dot there and I know that goes towards the back of the camera so that that way I can easily insert it into that port. And then you can even see that it isn't a, f a fantastically snug con connection there. So that's why this particular jerk stopper will help make sure that you don't have any disconnections there. So how do we do this? Well, the first thing you wanna do is insert your cable into the camera. And then now you're going to actually ultimately attach this little hook into this little loop right there. So you want to have a nice little spot where you have a nice, nice smooth loop where it doesn't have too much. You don't want an L bend in your cable. That's going to cause too much stress on the cable. So you just want to find a little spot. So I'm going to guess that right about here is a good place to have that hook to, to connect onto there. And so we're just going to mentally prepare that, Hey, we're going to put a little hook right about there with the zip tie. And that's going to be our little, uh, homemade jerk stopper. Okay, so I've moved the camera to the side, I've moved the cable to the side, and this is what we're gonna be focusing on. Now, as we mentioned before, we're gonna mark that spot right about here is we're gonna we're gonna have that zip tie connect to the hook. So ultimately that hook is gonna be right about there. So let's just undo the zip tie, and all we're gonna do is wrap that around here. We're gonna mark that. We're now gonna put it through the bottom of the clasp. We're gonna zip that zip tie through, and we're gonna as Devo might say, zip it, zip it, zip it good. All right, we're gonna zip it nice and tight. I'm not gonna do it too, too tight just for the time being, but I'll kind of just make it a little snug and you're done. Okay, so now that I've moved the camera back around, we have our homemade little jerk stopper tool right in here. And this has, like I said, that nice little swivel, so it won't put too much pressure. Again, I can tighten this up really, really tight, but for the time being, I just want to kind of size it up. So now we go ahead and we find that little dot. There we go. So that means we got to orient the cable this way. And it's kind of loose, you know what I mean? That's why this thing is kind of a nice solution. And let's see how it sets on there. So you just hook that on there and there's your homemade system. Now, obviously you got some excess cable right there. So let me grab the old uh, Swiss Army knife right here. Grab the scissors of the Swiss Army knife. I should probably tighten it up just a little bit more. You might hear a click or two. Do that. I'm gonna cut this guy right off. And there you go. That is your homemade jerk stopper for either free, like in my case, or probably less than a buck. Um, but not only that, what I like the most about it, as I mentioned, is that you unhook that, you disconnect the cable, and now your camera doesn't have something constantly flopping around on there. It's just a nice, elegant solution, and all it really is, is just a cable and a zip tie and a little hook. All right, so there you have it. This is a simple, tiny, quick, cheap, little DIY tip to get your own homemade jerk stopper. And if you're like me, maybe you even have this junk lying around in your, your kitchen drawer with all your little keychains and stuff. So uh, it was actually free for me. Maybe it'll be a couple bucks for you at the most, but uh, I think this is a more actually a more efficient solution when something hangs on your camera so that you don't have junk hanging off your camera that might get in the way and just not feel like as professional with the link thing flopping around. So um, hope you enjoyed this little DIY tip. Maybe you can implement it on your own. If you have any questions at all, feel free to ask your questions below. I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, if you like the video, please click thumbs up and give it a like. And uh, if you want to subscribe for these types of videos where I just share a little information and creative photography tips, uh, feel free to click subscribe. I'd appreciate it. So uh, thanks for watching.